Right, for Christmas uh, I got this Proxon uh, pantograph engraver um, which I had hoped uh, was going to uh, prove useful as a little pantograph milling machine. Now uh, it's a very small desktop machine uh, with uh, a mains powered uh, drill as the workhorse that just fits into the pantograph attachment, uh, a stylus at this end and you've then got uh, tables that move about and lock off to set your workpiece and your template. Now I had done a test piece the other day and was suitably impressed however I did find it just a fraction inaccurate and I'm talking about uh, overall 0.2 of a millimeter which uh, wasn't quite enough, uh, not quite accurate enough for what I wanted. Now that was using the original stylus and this stylus was intended of course for engraving. Uh, now there's two things with that. First of all it's a tapered stylus uh, and secondly the stylus had no correspondence with the diameter of the cutting bit I was using. It was uh, not very far out, I was using a 0.8mm cutting bit and the stylus was round about 1.5mm at the business end. That needed sorting uh, because I wanted more accuracy. So today I've had the stylus out and cut the tip off and bored it out uh, and made a set of stylus nibs, if you like. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, this is this has a two millimeter business end at that point, uh, which is therefore appropriate for a one millimeter cutter at the business end because we've got a two to one ratio. Um, the one that's fitted at the moment is a 1.6 millimeter uh, nib to the stylus for a 0.8 millimeter cutter I've got in here, and I've got I've made up another couple of nibs uh, for different sizes, so I can now change the nib and the stylus to suit the diameter cutter, and that's really quite important for getting. Uh, a decent amount of accuracy at the job. Um, now I'm very lucky I've got a laser cutter so I can laser cut a template. Uh, this is out of 2mm MDF and that's then just super glued onto a plate uh, on, on this front bed here. Uh, from this point I can just go ahead and hopefully do some cutting without embarrassment. We run at a high speed, about 20,000 RPM, and let's see what happens. Bear with me. We'll start with uh, the holes within the chassis. This is a loco chassis. So
Right, this is cutting through nice and cleanly at the moment. Um, it's 15mm nickel silver we're cutting. Um, and effectively, it's cutting in one pass and then just um, a pass in the, in the other direction just to clean up. And I'm just using D cutters uh, that I bought off um, eBay. Uh, I think they came from Germany. Really very cheap. About five pounds for five. Just do the last two sides of this. Okay, now we see what we've got. It's a bit unsociable, uh, but it's a lot better sport than doing it by hand, that's for sure. So, this nickel silver is uh, taped down to um, the uh, bed. Um, I bought some low tack double sided off. Amazon just before Christmas. So I'm just going to try and ease it off without bending it. And then we'll Yeah. Lovely. And we'll see what we've got. Ah, 
that's just hanging on a teeny teeny bit the back there we go now then let's see what we've got very very quick dress over deburr a little and say so it was just hanging on a teeny bit under that front edge which is my carelessness what I'm really interested in, what will tell the tale, is the holes for the wheel bearings, um, which I need to be uh, 3.75 millimetres, uh, because it's wheel bearings and coupling rods, etc., that matter. So. Wow. About three seven six, three three seven six three seven seven. So, to all intents and purposes, uh, that is bang on um, about point naught one of a millimetre uh, uh, larger than the uh, nominal diameter, and that um, dimension. Uh, is based on uh, the double size dimension I put in the computer uh, to laser cut the template. So uh, with all the translations and two layers of cutting uh, I'm getting uh, a massively accurate uh, result out of the other end. Um, so from my point of view it's a complete winner. I did one uh, half an hour ago and got the same result as well. Again it was uh, 3.76 millimeter on the bearing and the bearing uh, just firmly pushed in to the holes. So that's an absolute winner uh, for me and uh, uh, I shall absolutely be using this machine uh, with with every confidence. Uh, it's a first-class machine for the money. Needs this little bit of alteration to make a go of it, uh, altering the stylus uh, to uh, make it follow accurately. And we're, we're on to a real winner. I'm absolutely delighted with it. Uh, it won't do very big stuff, but uh, for four mil stuff, small seven mil stuff, it'll it'll be fine. The limitation is the tables, and of course, if you go too big, then the pantograph will be swinging around too far all over the place. But within within its limitations, a first class machine, and. Uh, I have uh, no reservations about it. Uh, it's surprisingly accurate. Great stuff.